Okay, Saturday afternoon, and it is the big afternoon for horse racing, and Haydock is taking centre stage for their feature meeting of the flat season. It's the Sprint Cup, and all through the week, all the chat has been about how much rain is going to come, and it has come in droves, and the course has got softer and softer and softer, and so much so that they've actually had to move the feature race from 10 past 4 to 25 past 2, just so the ground isn't too bad for the top class horses. And that's where we're gonna start. I'm gonna give you five tips for Saturday afternoon, four from Haydock and one from Ascot. So starting with the Sprint Cup, which comes up at 2.25 at Haydock. There's been loads of money through the week for a horse called Brando, who was a group one winner last time out, will love the cut in the ground. And punters seem to be backing him in opposition to Harry Angel, who is the improving three-year-old. He won the July Cup, but he isn't guaranteed to handle the soft ground. So all the money's come for Brando. However, at a slightly bigger price, I actually like a horse called Tazlit for William Haggis. The reason being, he won really impressively at York towards the start of the season in May in a race called the Duke of York, which is a group two, and that was on soft ground. He was wearing cheap pieces for the first time, but it seemed to be the surface that actually brought out the best in him. And if that happens again, he could actually leave all of his rivals in his wake. So at a slightly bigger price against the front two in the market, I really like Tasley to take the Duke of York at 2.25. At three o'clock, Holmeswood has won three on the bounce already for Michael Dodds and is looking for a fourth win in a row. Keeps creeping up the handicap, but is by a sire called Mason and his progeny tend to love the soft ground. And Holmeswood is going in the right direction. He's a sprinter in form. He ticks most of the boxes for what you look at in this sort of race. And he's my selection in the three o'clock tomorrow at Haydock, that is Holmeswood. The 335 is over a mile and Bally Concerto is my selection in this race. He is a horse that has been improving all throughout the season. And Sir Michael Stout knows how to get these sort of horses improving, improving, improving. Um, he's won this race twice before, and interestingly, he's booked a jockey called Richard Kingscote, who excels riding at Haydock. There's no one better than him at the track. So an improving four-year-old for Sir Michael Stout, who's won the race twice before with the best jockey at Haydock booked in the shape of Richard Kingscote. I think Bally Concerto is a really good bet in the 335. Then you've got a staying handicap at 10 past four, and Mark Johnson loves winning this race. He's won it twice in the last 10 years recently, and he runs a horse called Jama, who I really like. Um, he, the punters normally have a pretty tough time in this race. The last favourite to win was back in 2012, and that was a horse called Sir Graham Wade. Since then, all of the winners have been double, double figure prices, so it tends to pay to look a little bit further down uh, the the market. Um, horses rated higher than 91 have normally got a really good record. It's a lot of weight in the ground for Jama carrying nine stone seven, but I think his biggest challenger is a horse called My Reward, who probably won't like the ground as much as Jama. So in the 10 past four, Mark Johnson loves winning this race. My selection at what is around about a double figure price is Jama. And then one more. Uh, to round things off at Ascot, a really big price, um, sort of 14 or 16 to 1. A horse called Lualala, really consistent, has had 10 race court starts in its entire career and has finished in the first three on eight occasions. Interestingly as well, this race for the last three years has been won by horses ridden by an apprentice jockey claiming weight and Lualala is ridden by David Egan who's claiming three pounds. Consistent, improving, probably more to come. Ran a great race at the track last time out over six furlongs. Stepping up to seven furlongs here, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. So there's five for your Saturday afternoon. Stick them all in a Super Yankee or a Lucky 31. Just to confirm, they are at Haydock, 2.25 Tansley, 3 o'clock Holmeswood, 3.35 Bally Concerto, 4.10 Jama, and then the big price one at Ascot, that is Lualala in the 2.45. Enjoy your Saturday afternoon, fingers crossed, and good luck. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more. And for that extra sporting fix, check out our website for more great info, betting tips, and exclusive offers on sportnation.com.